stay black in America, don't leave, don't go anywhere. the way, greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. Today is going to be owning a 40 unit apartment or building. Owning a 40 unit apartment or building. Here we go. Um, these are the these are the things you have to be concerned about when you own the building. Okay, it's a 40 unit building. The um, the average rent um, per year adds up to one million two hundred thousand dollars. That's what you basically make in your apartment. You can add washers and dryers and change and quarters and things like that. But basically, the rents is where you get the meat of your money from. So, a million two hundred thousand a year. You have to deduct water. $72,000. You have to deduct gas, $81,000. Ag addition, $144,000. Repairs, $40,000. The, the grass keep and, and the snow, $6,500 plus $1,500. The 6% management fee, which goes to a management company, $69,720. This goes to a management company because you don't want to be worried about the day-to-day Problems of that apartment, uh, who's renting, who's leaving, what needs to be painted, what needs to be fixed, somebody to leave, the regular little maintenance things, those kind of agreements you work out with the, the management company takes care of that. So you have a minimal um, problem concerning that particular place there, you know, roof problems, whatever, whatever plumbing, stuff like that. Okay, so, uh, so those various fees there add up to 414720 Now, where you lose a lot of your money at would be uh, vacancies. The vacancy is going to average, you know, you keep your place up real good. It's going to average, you know, eight to nine to ten percent. So let's say the vacancies were ninety-two thousand nine hundred and sixty. Ninety-two thousand nine hundred and sixty were vacancies. Now the mortgage itself on the place, um, two hundred nine thousand sixty-five, and some change. That's your mortgage that you're that you're making payments for for the entire year. The, the, the mortgage you start with is like this. The mortgage, uh, the place was purchased in 2010. Um, you got it at a 6.5% interest rate. You had to put, uh, it was it cost uh, $2.5 million. You had to put $500,000 um, down on it. So your monthly payments are $17,422.15 a month. That adds up to that, that $1 million. That, that adds up to that uh, $209,065 over the period of that uh, whole, the whole year. What you're paying, so we take all all those figures together. You take that four the four hundred at, at four fourteen seven two zero the ninety two nine six zero and the two zero nine zero six five, which is that mortgage payment. Your profit is four hundred eighty three thousand two hundred ninety five. Ah. Oh. Ah. Your profit is four hundred eighty-three thousand two hundred ninety-five. Is your profit on that, on that particular building? Now, another thing, another important thing to know when you when you're buying a, an, an apartment building is the the, uh, the the deposits, right? So the deposits on on this particular place when you, when when, when you purchase it, right? It's um fifty-seven thousand dollars are deposits that had to come. You know, when somebody rents out an apartment, they pay they pay the security deposit. Well, the security deposit. If a person doesn't leave out of the, the uh, apartment, that's, that security deposit is left there for the next owner. So that's fifty-seven thousand dollars you have as you put in an escrow account. That you can earn interest on or any type of thing you want to earn it on as long as you have it there. It's available for the for the uh, the rent of the apartment. And I'm telling you, nine point nine percent of the time, you know, you're not paying anybody anything because you usually tear the place up to the point where you have to use that security deposit to uh, repair something that's wrong, or it either, it either goes over it. So. Most time you're keeping that anyway. Okay, so so this is the um, th this is the main uh, the main thing. So instead of taking money and deviating and try to get a a dream house or another type of thing like that, you deviate into something else that solves a problem. Like I said, for every time you solve a problem, you make money. So when you, when you deviate into something else, you become a you're a landlord. You remember, you got a management company taking care of it, but you're a landlord and you have forty. 40 doors there, you know, units are apartment, then they call them doors. Instead of calling them units, they call them doors. They want to get a little modern with it, but back in my day, they were called units, now they call them doors. So, 40 doors, you know? And so, this is the way that, that you bounce up. If you don't, if you never knew about how to go about buying an apartment, that's how you buy it. And now, and now actually, when you, um, when you go to get a loan for the, um, for the, um, the apartment, the apartment building, you can use the, the rents as a, 
it's collateral for yourself. Meaning that um, you take the um, you take the the average the average amount of uh, rent that the, the departments are going to rent for. They're going to average uh, average this one particular average one two thousand five hundred per apartment unit. You take that you take that total amount there, and you can add that into what you what you're telling the mortgage company. This these are the rent receipts that's coming in. So that, that so that maybe gives you even more of a cushion on that seventeen thousand four hundred and twenty two. Dollars and fifteen cents. It gives you more enough cushion because whatever you bring with it, you put the five hundred thousand down, and you're bringing this with it, and so I'm saying, well, these this property nets this much money a month or this much money a year. It, it, it further gives you a, it gives you an advantage on buying a property. So usually, the more you have, the more you receive, and the less you have, that what you have and is take taken from you. This is the true, uh, true way the world works. Anyway, it's in the Bible, but it's the true way the world works. So. You want to constantly be on the game, constantly on trying to invest, constantly on trying to move up. Because if you're not trying to invest and move up, somehow or something's going to have you move down. Everybody in this world is always trying to get in your pocket, one way or another. Everybody's trying to get in your pocket. So, again, the rent receipts, which um, are the deposit, security deposits that the, the tenants leave, all that money is, is supposed to be funded to you. You put it in your separate escrow account, invest it any way you want to, but it's had to be somewhere so they can be accounted for. And uh, so, you know, somebody leaves, it, you know, they're normally not going to get it anyway, but it has to be there for that. that. That previous owner has to give you that. See, they can't run out on you and not give it to you. If you're not aware of it, that might happen. But during settlement time, you're going to get that. You're going to get that, that, that $57,000 from those uh, people living in, in, in the uh, 40 apartment units. Hope I'm not stammering or, or going too fast for you. So let me see, let me see, let me see. Should I break it down a little more to you? What, what have I not told you that you should know? So I basically told you, the average rent receipts are $2,500. You got 40 units in there. So that's going to that's gonna add up to uh, $1.2 million a year right there. So you take your water off, your gas off, your AC off, your repair off, your, your lawn care, your snow care, your pain, what you're going to pay, your management company. You take all that off, you, 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 you figure out your vacancies because a lot of times units are going to be vacant a certain time of year. You know, one might be vacant three months, one, two months, one, one month. You're wonderful if you're working on 90%, which is, which is beautiful. to have a bunch of vacancies because you can lose a lot of money just in vacancies. And so, what the, what the mortgage costs, you know, 2010, building, 2.5 million, 500,000 down, mortgage payment, 17,422.15, 6.5% interest rate. You work it all down to what you're making, a, 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 a 1.2 million. You minus off all those, all those, uh, Repairs, utility bills, and all those type of things. Lawn care is four hundred and fourteen thousand seven hundred twenty. You minus off the vacancies, which is ninety two thousand nine hundred sixty, and you take off the mortgage, which is two hundred nine thousand sixty five. You minus all that from that one point two million, and you come up with a profit of four hundred eighty three thousand two hundred ninety five. Excellent investment. A living that American dream is all around you. That's why every year two point three. People in America become millionaires because they're investing in the right thing to make them millionaires. Not just pinky picking around, but they invest in that hard earned stuff that makes you millionaires in this country. Remember, the harder you work, the luckier you become. And I always say trust in your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because you can't lose without doing, doing that. So look, stay black in America, subscribe to my channel. Until next time. Bye.